What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is April 19th and if we go down to the four hour chart, Bitcoin did see a dip and we are seeing lower lows on the four hour chart, though we are still currently holding the previous resistance zone of that sideways range that we were stuck in for quite some time. This range was from March 17th all the way until about April 10th when we broke out of it. And this is currently the main area that the market is testing. And it's pretty crucial. One signal that came up recently, something that I posted on Twitter on April 17th was that Bitcoin was showing this bearish signal. This is the daily chart. And whenever we break the RSI uptrend line, sometimes Bitcoin creates an uptrend line on the daily RSI there. You see that? This happens every so often. And the breakdown of that trend line is very, very, uh, you know, high. it has a high hit rate. It's just likely to break down whenever we get below that uh, RSI up trend line. And the other day we were testing it. And now what's happened today is that Bitcoin has actually broken the RSI up trend line. And if you look at the bear market in the past here, right, this is, we're talking about the entire macro bear market from 69,000 all the way down, whenever Bitcoin created these types of RSI uptrend lines and then broke down out of them, that was a very, you know, very reliable. I mean, almost every single time we would break that trend line and test to oversold levels, almost every time, you see that? It's actually one of the most reliable bearish signals that we've had for a very long time now. This one was a bit of a fake out, but eventually it played out. We tested oversold levels. And guess what? Bitcoin is doing that right now. So we have a breakdown of the daily RSI. Just like all the previous breakdowns, we retest oversold levels at some point. Does that mean Bitcoin's going to do it now? Well, it's quite possible. This is a bull market, right? So or I should say a bullish trend, a bull trend. We have higher lows and higher highs. So that is something that is very significantly different than this zone here when we had lower highs, lower lows. And we, you know, all these breakdown signals were really reliable because it was a bear market. Bear signals are more reliable in bear markets. Now we're in like a bull trend. So this is a bearish signal in a bull trend. I do think it is very significant and it's probably gonna lead to some sort of correction. I mean, it's likely, at least if you look at the history, it's pretty likely, right? Just a matter of how bad is it really gonna get? And is Bitcoin, just like all the other times, going to retest oversold or is it gonna be somewhere sort of in the middle because the trend is, you know, has a lot more upside momentum this time around? Well, that's something that we're gonna have to wait to see. About uh, 28,750 is the previous uh, resistance here. And that is what we're testing right now. So if we break that, that could lead to a swift move down to retest our previous support, 26,500. Um, at the lowest, maybe 25,250, that previous high there. I'm not sure if we would be able to reach that on a retest down, but you never know. Ultimately, even if we did go that low, technically it's a higher low, right? And actually, if we go to the parabolic chart, let me just bring up the transparency on these images. Here we have 2019 on the left and 2023 on the right. And what you can see is that we are in another one of these parabolic trends. And so in 2019, we kind of played out perfectly right along with the parabolic curve diagram. And now in 2023, you know, Bitcoin showing that it could go down to that previous high, 25,300 or so, and it would still be within the parabola. We could actually do that and it would still be parabolic structure. That is something to consider, guys. I'm not just gonna cheerlead Bitcoin and get my pom-poms out and just say, go, go, Bitcoin, go. If there's a bearish signal, I'm gonna tell you guys, and we do have one. And this one I consider to be really, really reliable. So, but again, the only difference is that instead of the momentum being down, now the momentum is up, which means that maybe it won't be as destructive as all these previous signals. I think it's most likely that we would create a higher low somewhere in here, uh, whether it's sooner or later. And if that did occur, let's say we do pull back, well, Bitcoin is still inside of the parabolic curve diagram. So, I don't think it would be, you know, it would be kind of similar to this area here. I know when this dip happened, a lot of people thought it was the end of the world. And we went from, you know, below 20K straight to 20, you know, nearly 30,000. Um, so if we do come down, it could just be one of those classic parabolic dips with a quick rebound, which we saw 
many, many times here. And let's just move this to the side. Many times in 2017, for example, you know, these huge dips, quick rebounds. And that's really the kind of thing that we just saw for Bitcoin recently. But I do think that Bitcoin will remain bullish despite the short-term action. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.